5,500 real, unadjusted for rank. Mm -hmm. As a wage, it's regrettably small. But for a piece of hardware, yes, that's a lot. He worked for Connell, like Joyce told us. This is military equipment provided by a wealthy security contractor with state ties, way above what we have. The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking sound comes from above. Stop! Pig's gonna pull his head off. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Brain so! You're about to pull his head off. Do it, homo! Pull his head off. There's no point performing an autopsy if you do. We'll have compromised the coroner's case. Indeed. From this angle, it does look like the neck isn't going to take much more. Being dead for a week yeah. has all but liquefied his muscles. What are you trying to achieve, anyway? Why are you hanging on to that boot? Um... Try what, exactly? If you can't experiment, how will you learn? I don't think we should do anything just for the hell of it. Besides, there's no way you're getting them off. All the organic matter in his body has been flowing down into the boots. Yeah. They are fused to his feet now. Why do you think the locals haven't scavenged them yet? There might still be a way to peel them off. But first, the body needs to be down. And second, it would probably be better if the lieutenant wasn't around. Nick Fudge. All right then. You can pay the hostel bill in honor points. How many honor points have you collected? Processing will take care of them. With the situation in the morgue, it will yield nothing. But we must pick our fights. Should we A small bell-like sound fills the air like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. The pry bar in your hand is itching for some action. The metal connects with the same ding. The sound does not appear to get louder. The only difference is a barely audible click underneath. Sounds like the end of a long dice roll. Did you hear that? A click? Mm -hmm. This is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads the incoming energy horizontally, from plate to plate. When the plates connect, there's a click. That's the sound you heard. See these lines? Okay, no. Faint, organic lines cover the plates, where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates, until there are hundreds of them altogether. Ah, good fun. Like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant wood materials, like lignum vitae. An ebony, perhaps. If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross sections would look like. The smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate interconnections, peaking on the right sabaton, where you notice. The whirls are in the shape of a letter and number combination E50 100 1000. Mm -hmm. Good. Can you read it to me? X five four one five six seven four five six seven eight two two two. Quatsch. Let's lie. Nine. We have a make and a number. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos and extremities ah, yeah. blotched pink and blue. Mm-hmm. Um, good. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. This is a steel-reinforced cargo lashing belt, 
Big Brother of the regular cargo belt. Okay. It's used for tying cargo under six rotor airships. Oh my, there's something on the belt. A familiar word that speaks to the thirst within you. Hmm? Vermilion, in yellow letters, along the length of the twisting cargo belt. Only a deep longing for Vermilion Golden Spirits lets you decipher the fading logo of the local brewery. Extremely. Mhm. Fragen Sie mich nicht, woher ich das weiß, aber das ist ein Spanngut, der zum Lufttransport von Frachten verwendet wird. Airlifting. I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. Mhm. Genau, nee, es ist für The local Luft. harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. Mhm. Die wollten sicher gehen, dass er auch da oben bleibt. Der Gott ist mit Stahl für ihn versichert, verstärkt. Mhm. Wir haben ihn da hoch. Ein Nuss ist one of those things that's easier to use one way around. Sind eine Knelle da hochgeklettert. That ladder can't carry a grown man. Mhm. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt to close the buckle. Could be. The shape of the branch supports the theory. Mm -hmm. Yes, the debrief we got from the Wild Pines representative appears to be solid too. A lynching is what this looks like. Our internal RCM brief said the same. By the way, when you get the chance, perhaps you should ask me to share the RCM brief with you. I'm pretty sure you've forgotten it. I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring. Parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. Limbs limp and torso covered in tattoos. Genau, wir gucken mal nach den Tätowierungen. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso. From the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. The concentration is highest around his heart. Is this the kind of the map of the stars? I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Great century Messinian, maybe. But this seems more particular. Customized somehow. Mm -hmm. As if someone left out most of the night sky, filtering it through personal choice. The principle of this filter remains unknown to you. The thought dissipates, and you so am I. He wears a wide leather belt around his waist and a gun holster under his arm. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. Sisters. A trigger sunshine. Mini. Huh? Triggered is the world's leading manufacturer of intercommunication devices, primarily projectors. The camera before you looks familiar somehow. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? Der geht mir so An auf instant color okay. camera. <coughs> I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. Mm -hmm. A sound, a shrill flash. Followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto mm. the thick, glossy piece of paper rolling out. Schon eklig. In case we need it. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? There is only one ampoule left. Use it contains insight to the victim's person. This was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter to us. Now, if we could find someone to decipher it. Can I say Sure. Just don't lose it. The glossy-eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute and mm -hmm. his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper, teeming with opportunistic organisms. Du siehst ihm in die Augen. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. 
There is no one home, just subaquatic terrors. The dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Bitte. I'm gone. Wo bist du hin? I'm a joke. Look at me. A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. Go ahead, Kobo. Into the wild pale yonder. In the past, way out in the west, what do you mean? It's the power of your imagination. <laughs> Go ahead, ask me more questions. You fucking because you're a copperoni. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Coming right up, Copper Rooney Rooney. Because you have. Perdition Rooney. Love did me and Brother Copo. It was love all along. Fuck no. You're no Rooney. <laughs> No, you don't. Between you and me, your name is probably Harry. Frag mich mal was. Sure, Lobo. I can ask you a question. Why are you doing this? Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into my eyes, standing here. Why are you investigating my murder? Ah. Sehr schön. Something is on its way. Something hidden. It's coming. A miracle from the northwest, and it's almost here. You can feel it in the air, on your hands. The co Do I remind you of someone? A child born with Muller's disease, Harlequinism, grown up miraculously. You sure we got out of that one? Coppolini. Come back later, Coppo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. If possible, also, see me in your dreams. Yes, Herr Gut. Of course. You have questions, don't you? The power of your imagination is at your service. Come back later, Corpo. Yeah, yeah. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs and his neck just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark yeah. green. I see it. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. Mm -hmm. The monster comes back into focus. An explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. So what do you think? Mhm. Ich glaube, dass er nach dem Tod in aufrechter Lage war. Seine Hände, Füße und der Hals sind verfärbt. Agreed. Especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. Mhm. Könnte es trotzdem sein? There's always a chance. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they are in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. Mm. I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little sport. 
Klar, die schmeißt mit Steinen. Stop talking in Riddles coin slot. He means you fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal like. The pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below yeah. the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping into it, drop by drop. Mm. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck he saying? <sighs> Talking about shit. Maybe. But there is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He slowly rotates before you, decomposing. Wie bekommen wir ihn darunter? Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. Mm -hmm. mm. The steel reins are very present. Stufe aufgeschrieben. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. Mm-hmm. Can you stop saying? Climb up there and saw the branch? There has to be a less risky way, with less falling down of trees. Mit weniger vom Baum fallen. Mhm. Genau. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. Mhm. I would really prefer if there was another way. These people might have an agenda. But what? Other options. The corpse twists on the belt mm -hmm. like chicken on a skewer. Yeah! Bang bang time pig! Shoot his head off! How? With the buckle ties the rope to the branch, that's a good spot to aim. Where? Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to release. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain a Kuno with some shit. No miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good old. Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant unzips his jacket and produces a lightweight firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel separates the scouring stick and gives the cartridge five tucks, securing it in place. That's a Kiel A9090 armistice, mass-produced muzzle loader, ascetic, frugal, one of the most common firearms in the world. He then steps back and assumes the fellow Stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. The chip voice is drowned in oh, no. a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, God damn it. A lot of things were wrong with that shot. The fellow Stess was the wrong choice. His shoulders were raised, but above all, he cannot trust his eyesight. Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno is not fucking handicapped, is he? Mm -hmm. No, we are lucky as it is. We didn't break anything, and the victim remains uncompromised. Any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. We have eyes on us. I didn't do us any favors with that. Kuno sorry too. Kuno feels sorry for the Vino clad. The lieutenant doesn't say a word, just looks at the gun in his hand. 
I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. Sehe ich genauso. You know, you don't feel like too bad of a shock to yourself. It's 